Good evening. Welcome to my special podcast for resilience in the time of coronavirus. Hello, Mike. Coronavirus has been quite of the buzzword in the news, reading it, listening to it, hearing it, speaking about it in different venues via conferencing, if we would say. People have been distant from each other. Nevertheless, everyone trying to stay social. Today's guest is Urom Ali, joining me from Canada, Toronto. Urom is the Chief Executive Officer of HR Works, the company that provides services to global clients and has offices in Malaysia and Pakistan. Urom holds a master's degree in commercial law and an MBA in management. Good afternoon to you, Urom. Hello, Wael. It's good to have you in my podcast. Pleasure to be talking to you. So as we were talking in the uh, waiting room, you know, understanding the situation in, in Canada and the fact that you're working from home since a bit of a time. So could you tell me how, how does it look like for you now? Um, so, of course, you know, we are all in survival mode, as we have discussed. You know, these are unforeseen circumstances and we are trying to make best of this time as much as we can. Um, I'm, I'm telling my um, team as well that we have to act as a leader in these times in our own positions, irrelevant of what we do today. So um, I'm for, um, lucky enough that, you know, being as a consultant, I, my work is flexible and I can work remotely as well to some extent. But, you know, what I'm missing is the team interaction. So, uh, you know, sitting at home, um, you know, to, uh, keeping myself focused, but at the same time, you know, trying to overcome on that uh, face-to-face interaction. Um, so I'm lucky I have a workspace at home that uh, I can manage from. So, you know, a bit isolated zone. Um, and the, the main challenge that I face is because of our offices are um, in, in uh, Pakistan, Malaysia, and in Canada. Um, so the time zone differences is what I'm trying to, to cope up with. Um, otherwise, so far, you know, uh, keeping myself focused, I'm trying to work within the time frame that I would normally do otherwise. So, um, you know, keeping my number of hours um, consistent. Uh, so I'm not kind of uh, telling my family that it's all work and I'm not interacting with them because there's a light going around us and we need to um, we need to respect their time as well. You know, it's not just our time, but it's our family time as well who are around us. Um, so, so, so far, you know, learning every day um, of what I can do better in, in, in stepwise manner. So, yeah. so far, that's the yeah. thing. Yeah, th- thanks for sharing that. And, you know, I, I look back in time and I see the flexibility is no longer a flexibility given the circumstances. Even if someone been working from home or working remotely as you leading your own company, right now it's not about being flexible. It's about, you know, totally stationed, keeping safe, keeping healthy until that storm, you know, will, will, will pass on. But being able to connect with your customers is, is an essential thing. And being able also to... Uh, collaborate with your team and you know keep things running as it is it's quite of a challenge must be but you must be do, also using some tools and systems in place so what are these kind of tools right so we are fortunate that today we have advanced technology you know if you compare it with 10 15 years back you know it would have been a different scenario but you know thanks to resources like cisco uh, webex skype zoom today as we are talking on it google hangouts etc uh, we have all these resources available that we can use and we can interact with with our teams. You know, if it is through messages, then WhatsApp is, is, is also like, you know, you can make groups and, and chat on that. And if it has to be face-to-face interaction, it can be through these video calls. Um, so, so we are using these technology. And, and a good thing is, you know, for every business range, you know, there is a tool available. So, you know, uh, there are a wide range of options available for different businesses. If they are, you know, um, a small business, medium size, or of course, you know, our established business, uh, there are a range of packages available. So we are very fortunate that we can pick and select as per our uh, budgets and, you know, keep this communication means on, which is, which is a huge piece in these times. Um, so, yeah. yeah, I'm using these tools and so far it's been working well. Yeah. That's very good. I, I, you know, I look back in time and I'm not that old, by the way, but I still <laughs> go back in, you know, the dial and the home phone and so on. And if it wasn't for that technology, 
I guess we will be in, you know, quite of a different situation right now. Exactly. And gladly we have that much of a technology nowadays. So, but, but then again, you know, having the same spirit, keeping the same attitude day to day is not, is not quite easy, right? So how do you motivate yourself and keep the same energy and spirit? Yeah, it's 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 not easy, as you said. It's it's a challenge. It's it's a challenge for everyone. Um, but I think the main thing is to, as I was uh, touching upon it earlier, that you know you have to have work uh, workspace parameters. You know, uh, you have to have you know that routine that otherwise you could carry out um, in order to benefit and focus more. Um, you know, use these technologies, use these tools, but, you know, do not avoid interacting with family, you know, have that time as well, you know, enjoy that time. And you can only do that by, you know, focusing on certain number of hours if you're working nine to five or eight hours, seven hours, whatever your routine is, right? Continue, have those breaks in between. Uh, try to have isolated space where, you know, there's less noise. Use, um, you know, earbuds option where no noise cancelling options are there. Um, you can learn from your kids, actually. They know about technology more than you do. So I always go back and check and, you know, learn. there's nothing wrong with learning and updating yourself. So I think in a way we are also, um, you know, upgrading ourselves in these situations. Um, and, and have those small coffee breaks with, with your family, you know, but, but keep the track of time, you know, do not lose focus. Um, so um, we always talk about as, as in being in HR about workforce, um, you know, working from home workforce arrangement, flexible arrangements. And this is the time to show to your teams, to show to your employees, to show to your management that it can be done. It is possible to have work-life balance. Um, and practically how you can apply and stay focused and be positive. So in these times, we have to find these positive things out of it, right? Yeah, and you're lucky because you're mastering these kind of competences and skill set. So <laughs> it won't take, you know, it doesn't really take you much to plug and play, but some other individuals, even top professionals, it's not easy for them to just, you know, shift their mind and shift their attitude to work, uh, towards working from home. Uh, the, you know, this is going to be over sometime soon. I mean, let's hope so. But nevertheless, you know, what do you think organizations can, can do in order for them to be ready for any sort of challenge like that in the future? Right. So I think the first thing which comes to my mind is how to track performance of employees in these times, right? Um, because we always talk about KPIs, smart goals, and we all, always say it has to be humanly possible. Now resources are limited, right? And you know um, we are not providing that environment that otherwise they are normally um, habitual of. So I'm thinking when we go out of this situation, we have to have a plan uh, that you know if you know think outside the box. That how would you track employees' performance otherwise? Um, then on the other side, you know the economic deficits will be there. So we have to prepare ourselves, learn about our clients, learn about our customers, what are their um, you know short and long term goals, what it will look like when we will come out of this, and what are some of the things we can offer to our customers to keep the business intact. So this is the time to strategically um, you know place yourself and act as a leader and come up with a solution in your own position. So when the company goes back to normal routine and we get together, um, you know, we all will have a piece of solution, a piece of puzzle in order to keep it back, you know, and, and go from there. So I think it's like all developing yourself, motivating yourself, you know, talk to, talk to your neighbors, talk to employees around you. It doesn't matter whatever company they work for, um, you know, whichever way, use telephones, like use these technology. I'm not saying keeping that social distance, of course, you know, be aware of that. Um, but there will be a lot of solutions around. So have those conversations. Yeah. I hope the same as well. I, you know, I understand that we're creatures of habit. But I hope this is an opportunity for the businesses, for the individuals to start doing things in a different way that can benefit them and benefit you know, the future of all uh, around. Well, Aram, thank you so much for sharing your insights. It's been a wonderful short discussion, but I hope to have you in my next podcast as well. Thank you so much, Bart, for your time. Thank you.